It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Early season's greetings, NBA fans. I'm Ernie Johnson. Thanks for joining us. Got uh, Shaquille O'Neal here. Got Kenny the Jet Smith here uh, for this edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. Our game tonight featuring the Cleveland Cavaliers as they go up against the Milwaukee Bucks. Looking at the Bucks, they want to turn it around after the loss to the Hornets in Charlotte. That game went to overtime where they dropped a close one. A tough break, looking to get back on track tonight. And you hear Kyrie Irving's name, and you think of a playmaking point guard. But he is as deadly a shooter, Kenny, as anyone in the league from time to time. I mean, the guy won a three-point contest, yeah. so no surprise there. You know, he's averaged, you know, two to three uh, three-pointer shots uh, made in, in the last couple of seasons. Now he's quick to get off his shot off the dribble, which is different from most three-point shooters. That's why some people don't really recognize him as a three-point shooter. And not only that, Kenny, because he's so fast, you got to respect his drive and give him the space. As soon as you do that, yak him. Thanks for joining us. Let's go courtside to Kevin Harlan. That's the sound of the net, Ernie. Yak, yak him. That's what I hear. Yak him. That's what I hear when I shoot. It's game time in Cleveland as the crowd is filling up the Quicken Loans Arena. Looking at the last game for the Cleveland Cavaliers, it was a win against the Pacers in Indiana. And they put it all together in that game. It added up to a phenomenal win. And really an emphatic win for them, especially considering that it came in an opponent's building. And there's no question it was their offense that carried them. I love the way they went and got this game, Greg. I mean, they attacked at every opportunity, never relaxed or sat back. And as a result, they eventually pulled away. Now here's LeBron. Irving attacking. Down low, here's Thompson. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. Thompson's got the first basket of the game for the Cavs. I like the fact that he led his teammate right to the ideal spot. You don't always throw it to your teammate. You throw it to where he needs to be. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's check out who's on the floor, courtesy of Gatorade. On the court for the Bucks. The dynamite pair of Anadokounmpo and Parker at forward. Carter Williams is the point with Middleton at the two. And it's Monroe in at the center position. The Bucks shooting their initial free throws of the game right here. Shooting two, shooting two. And that one falls for Monroe. Oh my gosh, I just got that. So Greg Monroe nails both of them. And so it's Cleveland with it. James outside. Move the ball. Stick it too much. Kicks it to Thompson. On the wing, Irving. Back to Thompson. And the layup is good after a nice leap pass. Defensively, that possession better not start a trend because they just handed him two points. to Takumbo, dishes to Monroe. The kick out to Ana Takumbo. Carter Williams against Irving. Just five to shoot. Shot from 12. And no good. Trying to use the glass. So for the Bucks, their last game a loss to the Hornets. And the effort down the stretch, those final few minutes of regulation, you know, that's what they needed, but they were burnt out in the overtime. Yeah, that's a good call, Greg. I mean, there was a little bit of a letdown for them in OT, and that can happen after you expend so much energy just to force the overtime. Here's Parker. It's good, and he makes his first shot of the game. Really well done there. Just confident and composed, never in a hurry. Cavaliers have gotten their first three shots to go in for him to start off this game. To the middle, here's Thompson. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. Thompson's got six. 
And early on, they look great. They've made all four of their shots to start this game. Carter Williams again serving. Now here's Carter Williams guarded closer. Cavaliers have gone 4 of 4 to start. So a nice offensive rhythm to start here. J.R. Smith on the wing. Carter Williams covering. And Love has it in the corner. Lots of room. Fires for three. And James gets it to go on the assist by Thompson. LeBron's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Carter Williams, the pass to Amda Takumbo. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Back to Carter Williams. Out to the right wing. Parker with a clean look, and he gets the shot to fall after coming off the pick. Perfect screen there. Set him up with a terrific look. Yeah, I like the fact that the setup was good, the screen was solid, but you also have to look at the fact that the defender didn't do his job as well as he could have. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. Now here's Monroe. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Charlotte. Here's Carter Williams. And the shot no good, a bit short. Well, I think he had all the space he needed. He just couldn't find the bottom of the net. In the corner, Smith with it. Outside Irving. Gets to the rim for two with the D all over him. How about the way he's able to angle his body to shield the big fella off and still get the finish? You've got to be clever with your sleight of hand when you get inside and try to finish against the bigger guys. And he made it, he, he made it look easy that time. Here's Smith. Here's Thompson. He makes another one. That's four up and four in to start his game. Oh, I tell you what, nice little run here that they're going on. And, and getting to the 10 has been the key. They're getting point-blank looks time and time again. A shot by Carter Williams, nobody around. And it's good in the assist by Parker. The Cavaliers leading by seven. Love outside. The dish to Irving. LeBron left side. It's so about to Takumbo. Fast break, Milwaukee. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. Old school D right there, just telling them no easy layups. It's as simple as that. And that's what you expect from them. All right, now, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That's good for The new group on the floor for the oh Cavaliers. Gosh, Milwaukee also making some changes. Miles Plumley's checked in for Monroe. John Henson comes in for Parker. And Nick Stauskas is subbed in for Chris Middleton. Free throws good from Adetokounmpo. Cleveland leading by five. Here's Devil it over. Here's Freak. And off the left side of the rim, and it swirls in for him. Freak's got his first two points of the night. Passes it to Stauskas. Henson with the screen. 51 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. And Nick Stauskas with the three. There's a chance he could have a big game if they don't D him up more tightly on the perimeter. There's the pick. Della Vidova kicks to Anderson. And he takes the fantastic lead pass up strong for the slam. And that's such solid the fundamental pass. basketball on display right there, guys. You, you talk about it all the time, Greg. Yeah, great use of the pick to set up the dunk. And, guys, it was a terrific understanding between teammates that made that possible. They really did read each other well there. Plumlee, no luck. 
Cavaliers leading. Delavidova dishes to Freak, and the foul called on Freak. That is his first foul of the game. And really just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. Heads up action there. Reading the play and then beating him to the spot. Well done. Carter Williams with it. Boy, he just disappeared against Charlotte, and they really needed him. Plumley with the screen. Carter Williams, the pass to Stauskas. The basket's coming early and often in the first quarter. Cavaliers lead by six. It's the NBA on 2K Sports from Quicken Loans Arena. Had a chance to hear from LeBron James as he talked about the challenge of remaining calm and collected throughout the ups and downs of the NBA season. Again, just another part of the maturation process for LeBron has become such the consummate pro. Yeah, he really has been. It's amazing to see the pressure he's dealt with and the way he's handled it with that even heel nature. You know, he's a solid and steady as they come at this point in his career. Nothing phases him, nothing rattles him. Now the second quarter getting ready to start up. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. Scoring breakdown for the Cavaliers. And so far, these guys have done a fantastic job finding the open man and getting some easy guys. They've established their presence in the paint tonight. Also, a lot of their scoring to this point coming from down low. Freak in a shooting guard. Chris Anderson out there with Channing Fry. Then there's Amon Shumper. And it's Delavidova in at the one spot. That's the group for Cleveland going right now here in the second. Now let's send it to Doris on the sideline. You better listen to that. Well, Kev, Freak in the last matchup against the Pacers gave them a bit of a boost. He picked up 10 points and added a couple of rebounds with that. A bit of a surprise attack for him as he is usually just regarded as a role player on his team. Good job as always, Doris. Thank you, guys. What was your take on his performance? Kevin, I really felt like he left it all out on the floor. I'll, I'll say this. It, it was a great, hard-charging effort. Guys, when he's on, nobody's more fun to watch. And he was definitely on in that game. And so it's Cleveland with it, following the bucket by the Bucks. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. James has got his third assist on the night. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with the way they work down low. It's becoming a theme in this game, Clark. They are piling up the points in the paint. Now here's Carter Williams. He provides a good amount of offense for the team, averaging around 11 and a half points a game. And a wide open look for Freak. And another three for Cleveland. Delavidova is really good at finding his teammates. Second quarter, we're a little over a minute and a half in. Smith sets the pick for Carter Williams. He kicks it to Stauskas. All alone. And he gets it to go. Stauskas has got seven points. And so here's Cleveland. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. They traveled to Milwaukee last time they faced the Bucks, and they came away with a win. Yeah, they cruised to a win in these teams' last encounter, and their field goal percentage was off the charts. Scorching and torching offensively. They were able to get everything they wanted. comes in for Channing Fry, And Kyrie Irving subbed in for Matthew Delavidova. Parker's checked in for Milwaukee.
Bucks trail by seven. Now Carter Williams. The pass to Stauskas. Pass to Parker. Six on the shot clock. From past the arc. It's rebounded by Cleveland. LeBron outside. Over to the left wing. Love with a wide open look. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Middleton with it. He's picked up by Irving. And Middleton kicks to Stauskas. Carter Williams against Love. Now here's Carter Williams. He's guarded closely. That's a two from Parker. Parker with another miss. The Cavaliers leading by seven. James dishes to Irving. Back to James. There's the screen. Here's the three. And Irving gets it to go on the assist by James. James has got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Clark, some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, they need a basket just to regain some momentum here, Kevin. And here's Stauskas from the arc. Count the bucket. Stauskas has got 10 points in the game. And now he's taken a solid opening in the quarter and built on it here in the second. Fans, you're going to get loud. Come on. So making some changes. Miles Plumley comes in for Josh Smith. And under Takumbo subbed in for Stauskas. Closing in on four minutes played here in the second quarter. There's the feed to Irving. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. And it's seven points for Kyrie Irving. They're scoring both boats of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. Well, the defensive rotations, Greg, have been a step slow and has really helped them get that ball inside time after time. Now, here's Parker. Another miss by Parker. You love the close out on that possession. Excellent defense. Active, and he made it a very tough shot for him. Yeah, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. Cleveland is shooting their first free throws here tonight. Two shots. Okay, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. Free throw good from Kyrie Irving. How about the night Irving has had? He's got eight points, and he's put one three-pointer on the board. You know what, though, Clark? It wouldn't be a bad idea going forward to try to let him do a little more damage from beyond the arc. Shumpert is checked in for Kevin Love. And so he hits both. Thank you, please. 152 left to play in the first half. And here is Carter Williams. Pass to Onda DeCumbo. Good D by Thompson. Oh, nice play on D. Got that hand in the face the and prevented inside. him there from getting an easy look. Exactly. Alert and aware. Really reacted quickly to that shot attempt. Onda Takumbo passes to Carter Williams. 
Plumley with a screen on Irving. Carter Williams kicks to Plumley. On to Dacumbo against Shumper. Shot clock at five. Shot is good, and the Cavaliers lead get down to 11 points with that bucket from Anda Jacumbo. And when the size advantage is as big as it was there, I mean, that's exactly what he's supposed to do in that situation. Maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that. And we know he's capable of those memorable dunks. Yeah, and, and when he's got a lead like that, why not take a few chances? A lot more engaging and entertaining than just doing the old ho-hum one-hander. Here's Anda Takumbo. The Cavaliers making the shot. Parker outside. Off target from outside. And he made sure not to just draw the foul. That was good defense out on the perimeter. Very good. He's a thinking man's defender. Knows how to bother even the best shooters without being overly aggressive. Here's Carter Williams. Following the basket by Kyrie Irving. And it's Parker again missing. Kevin, not a single point in this quarter got it. for him. Get the ball inside. Obviously, not what they need right now. He's got to score. And it's James missing. Ande Takumbo. Shot misses. And so that brings the first half to a close. Cavaliers ahead. They finish off the second quarter on a 20 to 7 run. And time now to go courtside as we send you over to Doris Burke from the sideline. Doris? Josh, what do you need to do in the second half as a team to come away with this win tonight? The first five minutes is going to be big for us. We got to go out with the same intensity and energy that we did in the second quarter. We got to withstand it for two more quarters and hopefully come out with a win. Josh, thanks for the time. Good luck in the second half. Guys, back to you. All right, Doris, thank you. And stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter underway. Guys, that was the perfect way to start this game. Let's go over some stuff and do more of the same in the second half. Our passing has been very precise. I'll give you guys a lot of credit for that. We've been extremely smart with the ball, basically haven't given them any gifts whatsoever. But we've shot the ball well, I'll give us that. And it's because we've had great shot selection. We've made really good choices with the ball. And just to talk about what we want for the pace of the game, I'd say nice and steady suits us just fine. It doesn't have to be a track. All right, guys, let's get out there and play a good second half. Welcome back, everyone, to the start of the second half. Big margin on our hands, but we'll see if that gap narrows down in the third and fourth quarters. You look at Kyrie Irving in this game, he has been everywhere. It's as if he can get to the rim any time he wants and in that first half he wanted to quite a bit and that's where his points were coming from I mean the defense has to do a much better job of challenging him at the rim getting underway in the second half here's the five for Jason Kidd Carter Williams is the point with Middleton at the two the dynamite pair of Anadokounmpo and Parker at forward and it's Monroe in at the five down low now here is Irving Jabari Parker unable to get his last shot to go LeBron against Parker. Fires from the wing. That misses off the backboard. Well, I tell you what, that's too good a look to pass up there. Even though it didn't go, that's one you got to take. Monroe right side. That's a walk. Thompson with the rebound. That's terrific defense right there to prevent from converting in close. The in the inside. corner, Smith with it. And a minute played as the second half gets going. Thompson, a screen on under the Kumbo. Smith dishes to Thompson. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. And you know what? Very close 
to a three-point play right there. Yeah, he almost got that one down. I mean, those are the kind of aggressive plays coaches love to see. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. All right, now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. That one is off. And he sinks the second. When you're hot, you're hot. And that's certainly been the case for Thompson. Eight rebounds and one assist. You talk about being on, he's been it. Not even one missed shot so far. This is superhuman stuff we're seeing today, guys. It's been a cold spell for them coming out of the half, missing their first three shots. Tough start. And James throws it down. Great assist that time by Kyrie Irving. Bucks trail by 18. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've had a number of empty ones a long time without a basket. They got to find some. You're right. Parker passes to Carter Williams. Some solid defense there from Irving. They've shown effort and aggression in the paint right from the tip. Their rebounding edge is impressive. And they're giving themselves extra possessions and have taken advantage of it. And that's critical. You can shoot a few lesser percentage if you're getting more opportunities at the rim. Carter Williams kicks to Onda Takumbo. Parker against LeBron. Parker dishes to Antetokounmpo. Shoots from the elbow. Cannot hit. So Cleveland will take it the other way. You got it. Let's get the ball inside. Smith with it. Now guarded by Antetokounmpo. On the wing, Irving. Milwaukee with the rebound. It has not been an ideal start to the second half. They've missed three of their first four. Onda Takumbo passes to Parker. To the paint. Here's Carter Williams. That drops, Michael and it comes Carter off an assist from Parker. Six points for Michael Carter Williams. The second he got around the pick and shook his man, it was straight to the bucket for the easy dude. Very, very well done. Irving. The drive by Smith, and he gets it to go. Smith's got his second basket of the game. What a passing display he has put on here tonight. Yeah, he's spoiling us, Craig. I mean, there's just another fantastic dime dropped right there. That one certainly should make the highlight reel. Now here's Middleton. Quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Ball's knocked loose, stolen by Thompson. And now LeBron it. pushing it up. No inside. one back to stop him. No doubt that is within his range. Well, I would hope so. He's a pro, and it was only a one-footer. Come on now. Smith. Carter Williams kicks to Onda Takuma. Monroe dishes to Carter Williams. Parker against Love. Parker drives in. And Thompson sends it back. And there's going to be a foul. He definitely made contact with the ball, and in doing so, also got the body. So we'll see free throws here. The Bucks have looked good at the line tonight. They're perfect in four attempts. Shooting two. Shooting two. That's good from Parker. And some changes here for the Bucks. Miles Plumley's checked in for Monroe. Smith comes in for Onda Takumbo. And Stauskas subbed in for Chris Middleton. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. The Cavaliers leading by 18. Elvin over the pass to Fry on the wing Shepard. The basket drops and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior.
Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now, Greg, they've allowed from point-blank range. Can't happen. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown so far for the Cavaliers. They keep piling up the assists, and they haven't cooled off at all. It's been a hot shooting night for them, too. I mean, they've hit a lot of those mid-range jump shots. It's stolen. And now the Cavaliers. Fast break. Della Vidova kicks to Shumpert. And Freak gets it to go on the assist by Shumpert. Ten points for Freak. Excellent ball movement there, guys. And that's key to this run. Passing it with purpose, the D hasn't been able to keep up. Here's Stauskas. He's got ten. Smith kicks to Parker. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. First personal foul. On the night, he's gone two for two at the strike. And take a look at what he's been able to do at the free throw line. 82% more than acceptable. And guys, that's an increase in his free throw percentage um, from last year. Uh, maybe not a large one, but it is a little bit higher, so you've got to like that progress. He hits the second from the line. And here's Cleveland. They're on a 13 to five run here. Feeds it to Freak, but three. Kept alive, Shumpert. Here's Anderson. Well, it was only a matter of time, but they finally get the bucket. Anderson's got his second basket of the night. And uh, 101 left in the third. Screen by Smith. Here's Stauskas, currently averaging almost six points a game. For three, Chris Anderson pulls it in. You know, he just hasn't looked right to me. A bit out of sorts, if you will. Something's off with his mechanics, um, at least as I look at it. Now, here's Anderson. They lead by the biggest margin of the game, 25. Here's Della Vidova. There's the dish to Anderson. Clock at four. Freak kicks to Shumpert. Turns it from downtown. Shumpert's got six points. You know, one aspect of their play today that's really been tight and, and far superior is their passing. And that kind of flow can be elusive, but the great offense is having it. That's just what they've shown here tonight. That's his second personal ball. For Milwaukee, they have been coming That's through the at the charity the stroke. They've made seven of their eight Nate attempts. Stoskis. At the line for two. Shooting two. Shooting two. The first one falls. Oh my God, I just got that. And both free throws, good for Stauskas. We've got 13 seconds left to play in the third. Here's Della Vidova. Makes it off the glass. I love the advantage he has from a speed standpoint. Does a great job of creating separation for that shot. And as we conclude the third quarter, pretty much a blowout. It's been a one-sided affair. Cleveland ahead. Ending the third quarter on a 20 to 7 run. It's the NBA on 2K Sports from Quicken Loans Arena. And we welcome you back as we get going here in the fourth quarter. The final quarter of play can change everything. Know yourself, know your work. 
My ex is being louder than my words. Here's Della Vidova. We've got Jenny Fry. Amon Shepard is out there with Matthew Della Vidova. And there's Anderson. That's the five for Cleveland right now. They set the pick. A drive by Shepard. A timely screen gave him a step, and he took it all the way. Shumpert's got the first field goal of the fourth quarter here for the Cavs. Passes to Vaughn. Here's Hunt. He dishes it to Smith. With the teardrop, and that's two points on the layup. How about that cloth soft touch? I mean, just a gentle little teardrop, almost like a falling leaf, a leaf falling down slowly to the ground. Very sweet and colorful, too. Delavidova dishes to Anderson, and that one's good. They're forcing the ball inside, and it's working beautifully. It, it really is. Five out of six of their last field goals have come from the paint. The 11-footer, the shot's good from Henson. Cleveland's gone five of nine when they put up the three-point shot tonight. Dishes it to Delavidova. Here's the screen. And Shumper kicks to Anderson. And the rejection by Smith. And he's able to get it back. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Shumper. Can't connect from short range. Hey, they got the shot they wanted off of that pick, but it just doesn't fall. Yeah, it didn't go down, but you'll take that shot every single time, Greg. That's good offense. Whether by design or accident, that was a very high-quality shot they created. Delavidova kicks to Shump. And we're about two minutes into the fourth quarter now. Move the ball and stick it too much. From deep three-point range, and it's Shumpert again missing. Shumpert against Henson. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Kicks it to Stauskas. Henson the pass to Hunt. Pulls up. Henson shot is off. Well, I think the defense got lucky right there. I mean, he's going to make a lot more of those than he misses when he's got that much room. Shumpert gets a wide-open look. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Shumpert's got 11 in the second half. And they came out smoking here from beyond. Hey, Greg, as hot as they are from out there, absolutely no reason at all not to just keep letting them fly. Here's Hunt. He feeds it to Stauskas. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Here's Delavido. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. To the middle, here's Anderson. No good. And Milwaukee the other way now. Hunt, the pass to Stauskas. Up top, Henson. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. They get it back. Smith. And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. And it's going to go on Amon Shumpert. That's his first personal foul. Shooting for Cleveland. Josh Smith taking two shots. Shooting two. Shooting two. That free throw missing. Freaks check in for Cleveland. Good on the second free throw. Here's Delavidova. The dish now to Freak. Inside. Got a piece of it. Lumley with a steal. 
Here's Inglis, guarded by Shumford. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Now here's Plumley. Here's Stauskas. Vaughn, the pass to Plumley, And here's Stauskas from the arc. And again, the Bucks miss. Cleveland's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Outside jumper. There's the screen. Off the screen. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. And did you see the screen that was set for him? I mean, that was how he got to the hoop. It was the classic screen play. It won't show up in the box score, but that screen deserves an assist. Absolutely, Kevin. I mean, that took the defender right out of the play. Yes, and, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it, just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for the Cavaliers. And this was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, Stephen Clark, uh, an all-around dominant performance. Clark, and you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. I certainly did, and they just cracked it open and made it an NC. No contest. Yeah, I like that. And it will advance the win total up to 12 on the season. And making the right plays when they needed to, closing out this club for the second time this season. This victory pushes their record to 2 0 with two games left to go against the Bucks. I mean, when you look at the stats, you'll see just how dominant a game this was for Thompson. He was really important under the basket, making the plays down low and getting position to pull in rebounds. Just a really solid display there of rebounding. They've done it really all game. Dominating on the glass, Greg. I mean, a huge advantage for them in that particular category. Terrific run to seal the deal. Yeah, and now let's just keep an eye on how much longer they keep the foot on the accelerator. For three, Stauskas. And he gets it to go. Nick Stauskas. They've been doing a great job of sharing the ball. Excellent display of team play. And guys, shot A comes to mind for me because right now that offense, it's a smooth operation. Mm. Oh. Shot A. I like that, Greg. <laughs> and you can sense the fact that they didn't want to let the fans down here. It's been a fun night to be in the building. Greg, it really has been. I mean, such a lively, vibrant atmosphere. And no doubt that played a part in the big win. So we see the Cavaliers taking the win here. They poured it on tonight, Clark. A dominant showing in front of a crowd that loved every minute of it. I don't think they have anything but positives to take away from this win. Offensively, defensively, every aspect of the game, it all went right for them. And now we'll send it down to Doris Burke, who's standing by courtside. Thank you, Kevin. LeBron, tonight another example of this team's excellent work here at home. What does winning here at home mean to this team? Uh, it means a lot. It means that we come in every night and try to protect home court and also our fans. Uh, give us all the spirit and all the enthusiasm to come out and play hard in front of them. So uh, a lot of credit to our fans that come and pack this gym every night. Uh, we're on our home floor and, uh, and our coach staff always prepares the right way to come out and try to dominate home. Thank you so much. Back to you guys at the table. All right, Doris, thank you. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. This is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for watching. Now we'll go to the studio with the award-winning Ernie Johnson. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Thank you, Kevin. And now we get a chance to present our Jordan player of the game, Iman Shumper. No matter what they threw at him during the second half, it seemed like he had the answer and was able to find all the shots he wanted. Shaq, what'd you like about his game? Just an amazing impact he had in this game. After not even being in the starting lineup, he's an other Ernie, and the crowd was loving it. They really enjoyed his style of play. He's going to continue to create more and more new fans for himself. I'm sure of that. He was dead on from the field tonight, guys. I'd call his performance economical because there was no wasted opportunities. He took advantage of every good look he got. I mean, everything he put up was going in. And that'll do it for this edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. Hope you enjoyed the show. From myself, Kenny Smith, Shaquille O'Neal, Kevin Harlan, and the entire 2K Sports crew, have a wonderful evening.
Considering the team's current winning streak, how concerned have you been with making sure you get yours? <laughs> it's never about the numbers for me. It's about wins. As long as we're rolling like tonight, then I'm good. That's an easy question. What else you got? Are you getting the ball as much as you'd like out there? That kind of thing doesn't matter to me. As long as we're winning games, I don't care how much I have the ball in my hands. I really don't. The team comes first. You know that. I saw your longtime girlfriend, Yvette Mendenhall, was in attendance at the game today. So when are you going to get her a ring? <sighs> Whoa. All right, I didn't know we were going to get all personal up in here tonight. Um, if there's anything I learned after my first season in the NBA, is that it's best to keep my personal life private. So that's what I'm going to do. Me and Yvette are happy, just like we've always been. She means the world to me, and that's all I'm going to say. All right, I'm out. <laughs>